Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports on News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be to recap a big trade in baseball, a five-player trade that got Matt Olson to the Braves, all but surely moving on after the 2020 World Series. Freddie Freeman from the Braves to my prediction, the Dodgers or the Yankees would be the NL team for me that he definitely would go to if he goes there would be the Dodgers, and then the AL team, obviously the Yankees. Uh, <clears throat> but let's go into this as Atlanta acquired the All-Star Slugger in a five-player trade. On Monday, the Braves sent outfielder Christian Pache, who's a very good developing outfielder, a very solid catcher that can also run the bases well, kind of like a mini JT Real Muto, Shea Langliers, and then two solid pitchers as well, Ryan Kusick and Joe Estes, to the A's in the deal. This trade, to me, makes all too much sense for both teams that it has to get an A grade, because Billy Bean continued to do what he does, which is rebuild the A's system. He got two very good prospects in Pache and Langliers that are at two prominent positions. Uh, the outfield, whether you put uh, Pache at center field or corner, and obviously the catcher position, which is very vital in baseball. And then on top of that, you now have guys like Kusick and Estes to work <clears throat> with Langliers and their other catchers as they come up the system to maybe eventually be starters or relievers for the A's as well, because we know how good the A's do up putting pitchers in the best spot to see and get the most out of them, whether it's Irvings of the world, the Bassets of the world, or even Scotty Casimir when he went back there. So the the A's always find a way to get a little bit of pizzazz out of somebody, even if they're kind of <clears throat> a guy that's more of a B-level prospect, they'll probably make them look like a B-plus once they get to the majors, or if they're a C-level player, they'll probably make them look like a B-minus level player. The A's always get guys playing up. And that's why I really like that they added two solid pitchers that have the ability to grow in Kusick and Estes in this deal, as well as getting Pache and Langley. Obviously, for the Braves, this is a huge deal showing that that um they wanted to bring in a key first baseman in Matt Olson, who's also great at fielding. Why they didn't just decide to extend Freddie Freeman, who's already ingratiated in the area and everything, rather than making this trade, will be something that will be asked for years. But obviously, they wanted to lose. A couple years as Olsen is 27, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Freddie Freeman is about to hit his age 33 season. Yeah, so he's 32 uh, going on his age 33 season. So I think that plays a lot into it. You obviously wouldn't have gave Freeman an eight-year deal. Eight-year deals also don't necessarily always work out because that's what Olsen got on the back end. But that don't matter because the Braves, this deal, the reason I gave it an A for both sides is it is peculiar why they didn't just keep Freeman, but I think it's because, in my opinion, he's younger Olsen. They gave him an eight-year deal. You got to have him. He should be really good in at least five of them. He's only 27 years of age. And then we'll see what he is after that, and then there's even an option for the 2030 season. Great fielding first baseman, great power hitting and gaps first baseman. That may be the uh, Braves will even make into a better average hitting first baseman, which would then be scary as hell if Matt Olsen is able to do that. I expect him to get bat multiple gold gloves during his time in Atlanta and potentially multiple home run crowns as well uh, in his time in Atlanta as well. I think this is a good deal for both sides. Lang years, Pache, uh, Kusick, and Estes are great guys to go back to the A's as they're retooling or rebuilding, whatever you want to call it. And then for the Braves, as they're still in top contention as a World Series contender for next year after winning last year, getting a guy like Matt Olson shaving a few years off of your first base position while still having an elite level talent, that's what they were able to do. So every and they also, uh, in conclusion, they did the the eight year deal. I'll give you the totals on it. The eight year deal he got was one hundred and sixty eight million. Um, and I would say, as Bowie Sports Braves said, exceptional, exceptionally exciting signing. If you are a Braves fan, so peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Leave me here, subscribe down below. Up above on the easy to use widget to keep the channel going and growing to 215 by the end of March or more. Peace out, everybody, and have a great day.